Hello and welcome to whatever this is. I want to get straight to the point before we are getting into the full video because this will be a lengthy one or a relatively lengthy one. And I know that most people don't have the time for this or are not interested. So let me get the information out immediately to everyone who is watching. Starting on this upcoming Tuesday, that is the, let me find the date, that is the 9th of August 2022, I will move my stream completely to YouTube. Yep, that means on Monday when I'm returning from my vacation, which I'm still enjoying for the last one or two days, um, we will stream on Trovo. I will make sure that everyone is getting the news that we are moving over and we will have like another discussion. We have a lot to talk about. There's a lot of things I've missed out on in my vacation. And we will do basically all of that on Trovo. And then we are moving to YouTube. And yes, that means all my live streaming will happen there. Now, we'll probably have a lot of questions like, why are you moving again? Why YouTube again? Like, what is going on, dude? And so let me explain. Um, let me first explain why I want to leave Trovo. I have been now streaming on Trovo for one and a half years, and I still believe that Trovo is a really good platform who will be very successful and is already very successful in what they are doing, and they are good. The problem is, and that is a reality by just looking at my numbers, um, in the last one and a half years, we didn't grow. Like the followers are mostly hollow, which I was always against at um, like on, in, in, on Mixer. Like we didn't have like the most followers, but we had like crazy fewer numbers, right? And on Trovo, it's the opposite. It's this, I have thousands of followers, but no viewers really, right? Besides of the core people who are watching. By the way, for everyone who has been watching, thank you very much for that. Um, but the problem is that Trovo focuses on two things and it seems like this will be the main focus for the next few years and that is a mobile games and b regions which are non-native english speakers and that would be all right but it seems like that those regions are totally not interested in english at all and we have less than 10 percent of viewers being english and it's it's a disaster. It's absolute a disaster for me who is a variety PC streamer who is focusing on English, even though it's not my first language. And for me, Trovo is unfortunately going into a direction where I cannot follow. Right. It's not that I don't like what they're doing with the platform or anything. I think the platform is still pretty good. They know what they're doing. They're very determined. But I'm not the focus group. I'm not the group who can build something up there. And the mobile part is not even the biggest issue. The biggest issue is really non-English speakers. I, I cannot be on a platform where people are coming into my channel and I have tons of different languages being thrown at me. It's like I have genuine people who are coming in who are interested in what I'm doing, but I cannot communicate with them. They cannot communicate with me if they don't know like what I'm talking about. I don't know what they are talking about. And you don't really build a community like that, right? So unfortunately, looking at my numbers, um, I actually posted my numbers for one and a half years in my Discord. If you were interested, make sure you're joining uh, the Siege and I will post also a link to the Discord in the video description. Um, but yeah, like, if I'm looking at the numbers, it's laughable. It's absolutely laughable. It's not, it's not feasible, right? Like, completely not. So I wanted to give actually Trovo till the end of the year, but the more I looked at it, half another year will not change anything. Like the platform is clearly set on what I said earlier and another six months will not change that. So why waste my time? Why waste your time, right? And so I wanted to move. But the reality is I will not go to Twitch. I don't like Twitch. I don't like the platform. 
as a streamer, as a viewer, I think Twitch is abhorrent. And the only reason why Twitch is still in business and exists is because they were first. And that was the only thing, and is the only thing in my opinion, which keeps them alive. They are Twitch. They have established their brand, right? And they would just keep going. But I find the whole website, I find it abhorrent, like with all the ads coming in. Like I had streamers who had like three ad blocks running like once per hour. And then you missed completely important plays in League of Legends or TFT or Multiverses or whatever I was watching. Or sometimes you were even missing out on cutscenes. And it's like, I, sorry, I don't want to watch there and I don't want to stream there. And yes, I'm a Twitch partner. <laughs> Keep in mind, it's a pity partnership I got because for my achievements on Mixer. Um, but it doesn't doesn't really do anything. Like the, the crazy part is, like I said it before, the difference between partnership and affiliate on Twitch is that you were getting a check mark to your name, like you were getting bragging rights. And... If you have like, what was it? 300 subscribers without, I think without Prime, you can once every six months book like the front page on Twitch. It's laughable. Um, like again, and then you are bound to one platform and the cuts are bad. Like there's, there is no reason why I want to be there as a content creator. Absolutely none. And I will be honest, I'm still expecting at some point that Twitch will collapse. I'm still expecting that. So I'm staying away from the purple platform. Never liked them to begin with. This is why I never streamed basically on Twitch. Like my first streaming experience as a content creator was Mixer. Like I wasn't somebody who first streamed on Twitch, then moved to Mixer. I was somebody who started out on Mixer and I, I have I have no reasons to go to Twitch. But why YouTube then, man? Like, didn't you say YouTube, like, is shit? So when I was on YouTube, when I moved from Twitch to YouTube two years ago, yes, two years, that's how quick time is running, um, the things I said are still true today to a certain extent. YouTube was struggling with finding their live streaming experience. They really did. And it seems like that now they're finally getting their act together. They're finally finding ways on what they want to achieve with YouTube live streaming. And they don't just mean buying content creators. That is part of the strategy they have right now. But they are also updating their live streaming. And it seems like that they really want to make live streaming a dedicated content platform because Let's be real here. Live streaming started out as live recording a YouTube video. Like it was literally put a re record button on YouTube, which you could click and people could basically join that session to watch you recording the video live. And it's still working that like that, but just on a more prettier interface. Um, but YouTube is finally getting their act together. They are doing more with clips. They You can now utilize finally clips for YouTube shorts, which is really important. Um, they're adding more and more stuff for content creators. And it seems like that YouTube finally woke up, which makes sense. Because I've been, I've been asking a little bit around for the, or at the people who work at YouTube. Like I know one or two people there. And I heard from them that there might be a chance that YouTube Gaming 2.0 is basically in the works. Like not not how you how you remember it. It's it's not the same thing. It's very different. But they basically the the point is that they want to reanimate their live streaming ambitions, right? That's the first thing I heard. I also saw some screenshots of it and what they're doing with it. Like it, it seems like they're really working on a huge rework for their live streaming platform, which is good. But another thing, and this is actually far more important for me because it is business, it's corporate decision making, is YouTube has apparently realized that advertisers 
really, really love live streaming because they have realized how many people are watching it and how much money there is to be made. And the rates for live streaming seem to be so much more better than just for videos. So Twitch, who is the king of live streaming right now, has been, this is also one of the reasons why they aggressively advertise um, ads on Twitch, right? Because there's a lot of money to be made. And it seems like for the first time ever, they are taking breadcrumbs away from YouTube when it comes to advertisement and live streaming. And that is apparently the one thing YouTube will not abide to. YouTube lives from advertisement. And live streaming is where a lot of money is to be made through advertisement. And it seems like that somebody finally checked the numbers at YouTube and was like, Mamma mia, Twitch is taking all the advertisement money from us. We have to do something. And it's like, yeah, that was probably one of the decisions or one of the decision makers on why they are now hell-bent on pushing for their live streaming experience. And as long as they are having that goal in their mind, they have the backing of the corporate side of this whole thing. And that is what is important, as, as much as that sucks, as much as I don't like it. But they are basically the decision makers. And it seems like that YouTube live streaming has finally found that one thing, even the suits can agree on that this is a no-go. And that is Twitch taking away advertisement money from YouTube. So it seems like the time where YouTube tried to like somewhat co cooperate with um, with Twitch are over and, Twi and YouTube seems themselves as a live streaming platform again. But that's just what I heard. So cannot confirm it. Don't know how true it is, but it seems to align with what we have seen as of recent with what YouTube gaming is doing. But again, that's really important to me because that means that as a live streamer, um, I can also utilize this with my YouTube channel here. Uh, so if you have missed it, well, you're watching this video, so I assume you haven't. But if you have missed it, our YouTube channel has been growing substantially. I'm figuring out more and more what I want to do with my channel and where I want to go with it. And yeah, it seems like we are finally reaching the point where it is feasible for YouTube creation and live streaming to bind those two things together. Quick note, there might be a thing I would do. So we would do the live streams here on the channel, right? But then afterwards I would um, I will put the live streams on private, download them, and upload them again on my other extra channel. I have a live stream channel. If you don't know, it's uh, Chaos Mode's live streams. And this is where all the live streams would end up after I'm done, right? Because the problem is, unfortunately, <laughs> the, the algorithm right now cannot distinct between a video and a live stream and treats them the same. So after you're done with the live stream, the algorithm treats your live streams as videos and is then a little bit appalled by, wow, wait a second, you don't have the same click-through rate. You don't have the same viewers as you normally have on your live streams because they're also quite lengthy. Um, mm, uh, nah, I will, oh, okay, that means I would take your whole channel and would treat it less in the algorithm. And yeah, that's not good. Uh, give me just a second here, folks. Oh, sorry for that. Needed to drink something. Oh, that was rough. Um... But yeah, so that's probably something I would do. I would just take the live streams, put them on private afterwards, and then I will upload the VOD to my second channel. And then everyone can just watch it there. You know, that's probably the smartest way to do it. 
and then we will see it will be a very fluent process um, my live streams will also focus more on what we are doing in the YouTube channel where I'm focusing mostly on guides moving forward because that's what works what people want to see and what works for me like I'm good at making video ga guides for games I have always been good at that it's one of my strengths and people want that this became especially clear well it became clear to me with Evil Genius 2 and it became especially clear to me with Lost Ark Right, when I made guides on Lost Ark, where I first thought that would be like something I could never break through. And I did. And if you have also um, wondered and noticed, I made another channel about two weeks ago, which is Mold's Multiverses. That one is dead. Wait, what? Yeah, <laughs> I would kill off that channel. I will probably just delete it. Um, Reason for that is pretty simple. It was a test balloon. I wanted to see how things work, starting from scratch, having a game I know my community doesn't care about and also doesn't care what I'm doing with it. So I don't really get like any extra subscribers. I don't get any extra viewers. And I basically have to completely start from scratch and I can also test things out completely from scratch and that's what I did and it was really really interesting it was so fascinating to see where it goes and it was a good learning experience it was a really good learning experience and what I want with specific channels with um, specific games like all of my videos have been doing really, really well. And you might say, wait, why why are you why are you giving up on that then? Like that seems like something you really want to follow through if they have been doing so well. Let me actually show you um the videos here very quickly. That's it. Um the lead character list has four hundred and fifty five views. Like, they're all doing really well. Like, keep in mind, I have four subscribers on this channel. Four. This channel is two weeks old. I have, I have nothing going for it. Right? This was a specific channel for a specific game which came out of nowhere, where I came out of nowhere, and I wanted to see where I can go with it. And it works. Right? It was a test balloon for me. But the reality why I don't continue this is I stop playing multiverses. <laughs> it's it's not my type of game. Like I love multiverses and I will play it now and then, but I will just play it as a fan. I will not play it as a content creator. I just want to have my fun sometimes. But I wanted to see where this is going, how this is working. Uh, this is, by the way, a short. I had to put this private because misinformation on my end. That's bad. That was one of my mistakes. But all the other videos are doing pretty well. So this was really interesting to see. And we might do that actually in the foreseeable future. That I might have like a game or two where I want to have a dedicated channel. Where I can just geek out about the game. And I don't have to like fear too much about my already existing community right so yeah again this was still an interesting test balloon and but that channel is dead <laughs> because i'm not i'm not playing the game nearly enough to keep this going and i'm not interested enough to keep this going but there are some games coming up i'm i'm definitely interested in and I might actually do that again. Yep. But with that said, um, TLDR, starting on Tuesday, I will be a YouTube content creator. My live streams will be on YouTube. They will not change. They will stay the same. I will do like a lot of guides on my YouTube channel, which I've been doing for quite some time. Uh, gaming news will 
be less and less important for the channel. Unfortunately, at least for content creation, like for VODs. On the live stream, we still have mole in the morning in your gaming news. They will not change. But like direct uh, gaming news will slowly be phased out on the channel. And yeah, it's just... Finally, it seems like YouTube is getting their act together. They have better conditions for content creators. Like we are getting 70% of subscribers and all that. Like everything is just a little bit more fair on YouTube. And I can also utilize that with my uh, normal videos I'm doing on YouTube, um, which is kind of interesting. Like two years ago, I, I didn't even had <laughs> a YouTube channel really, right? I didn't I didn't really utilize it and because I'm I'm a live streamer at heart and not a content creator in the way that I'm creating YouTube videos but I came to the conclusion that it is impossible to avoid that at the point where I am I need to diversify and YouTube has been doing quite a bit of helpful things so yeah, starting on Tuesday, you will find me over at youtube.com slash chaosmolefx. Oh, God. Somebody did steal my name. What can I do? And this is where you will find my live streams. If you want to support me, you can do so on YouTube by uh, subscribing to my channel. Of course, that's always free. But then there's also the, what does it call it? That they don't call it subscriber is so weird. You can also subscribe subscribe to my channel. Um, if you don't want to do that, we have a Patreon. And by the way, <laughs> Patreon content will continue starting next week because I had my vacation and I really decided not to do anything, right? Like... Yeah, but that will continue if you want to support me on my Patreon directly. Uh, it's patreon.com slash chaosmall. The link will also be in the video description. And there will be more exclusive content coming to that. Mm -hmm. With that said, thank you so much for the support. Thank you for hanging out with me for years. And... Let's go back. <laughs> well, actually, let's go to YouTube. And let's make a serious attempt to build a new home on YouTube. And for people asking, Mo, what is happening when YouTube is not working out? Will you go somewhere else? The answer is no. Um, this is like under all consideration right now, this moment, this is it. Do or die, as people say, because I don't really have another platform I could go to. Again, not going to Twitch. Like, I hate Twitch, and that will not, not change. Yeah. So, this is it, yeah. With that said, thank you so much for watching. Stay safe. And see you next time.